Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm Jerry. I grew up in the city. I grew up on a farm. It's true. You can't take the country out of a country girl. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to Farming, Farming Our, Our Backyard. Backyard. is at four inches so that there'll be a lip on the back of the box so their eggs don't roll out. We're going to replace a panel on the roof with a clear plastic one for the chickens hopefully get a little bit more light and then we're going to work on the nesting box.
So I fixed a whole host of problems with the chicken coop this week because they're not getting enough light. Well, I'm hoping that this will encourage them to lay longer and further into the winter with the light coming in before I get the door open. I just replaced one of my regular panels with a clear panel. And I put it the furthest away from the nesting box in hopes that that won't mess up with the nesting box. Also, I fixed the coop lid so that you can't, you don't have to open it all the time. You have access through these two egg doors that latch in the center. We worked this week on clearing the rocks out and getting the basic idea where we want our raised bed to be. The raised bed starting at this post will go out this way 21 feet. There will be a 16 foot back on it and it will be a U shape with an inside of 10 foot by 16 foot. I'm going to raise it about two feet and all that lumber is finally here so we can get started we're getting close so we've been working on finishing up the maple syrup and we had six gallons that we got down to a couple of quarts and now we're trying to get on down to two cups is where this should finish out for her a regular maple tree, not a sugar maple. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see them or not in here, but there are two tiny sprouts right there. There are two tiny sprouts back here, and there's one tiny sprout right there. We did away with our uh, greenhouse in here because I wasn't able to heat it separate from the room this year. So it wasn't actually doing a whole lot and it was hard to get into. So we just put it on a rack in this room. We had a problem with mold. I discovered, mostly by accident, that hydrogen peroxide diluted half with water can be used to water them and it takes care of the mold problem. It's still considered organic at that point. It's a certifiable organic practice. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.